Literally. November 18th. Oh my God. <sighs> Episode 19, one month later. Um, I said I was going to take a break because of fools. And then that break turned into just, it's the holidays. And then nothing cool was coming out, honestly. And since then I've seen a few things and, uh, yeah, welcome back to Lords of Film episode 19. Uh, what's up? <laughs> Good. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Matt. Um, I play in like local music stuff. I uh, play in a couple bands. One metal band, Opulent Construct, and then an indie band called June. Okay. And um, outside of that, I'm just a working guy who watches movies. Yeah, I've known <laughs> Matt. Homie, yeah, I've literally homie. known Matt since middle school, since Hutch. I went to high school with him. He was one of my close friends in high school. We all got bullied together. It was great, yeah. you know. Um, yeah, shout out. Love a Kai. Yeah. But yeah, no, we've just been friends for forever. And uh, we have each other on Instagram. And I'm always posting film. He's always posting film. He checked out Lords and wanted to come on. So said pull up oh, yeah for sure saw some movies <laughs> hell yeah so i guess like it's fresher on our mind uh we went to go check out uh the menu last night yeah. oh shit okay cool. yeah cool. um cool. i really liked it so like a little bit about that um it's directed by Mark Mylod. I hope I'm, I'm pronouncing that correctly um it stars Anya Taylor-Joy who plays Margot uh Ralph is it finesse? I've heard, Is that how you pronounce it? Like they it? say it's it weird. It's like Ray Finn Fines or something. Fines. Okay. Ray Fines. Voldemort. <laughs> yeah. Voldemort. Um, Voldemort. That's easy. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, that's who that is to me. Yeah. Um, but he yeah. plays uh, Julian Slowick, who is this like world master chef. And then Nicholas Holt plays Tyler and fuck him. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but honestly, I... I would honestly consider this more of a comedy over a horror movie. Yeah. It was really funny like to some me. Suspense kind of sitting on top of the whole thing. Yeah. I really liked it though, because I feel like a lot of movies with like this type of plot are very like just Netflix released movies. Like they're not really yeah. bigger things. And I thought it was really cool to see like a bigger cast in something like this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was just really cool to see it like in that type of setting. Cause they, they really did the most and it was really cool. Um, essentially this movie is about, a group of people, I would say they're very snobby, rich, elitist. They're food critics. They are influencers. They are Foods, uh, actors, yeah, actor. uh, people of influence and riches. And they are all invited to a private dinner on this private island that's owned by a chef who is uh, Chef Slowick. And uh, this group of people is going to this island to get this six course meal. I believe that's what it was. Yeah, it was six courses. Yeah, it was a six course dinner and the chef is known for his very artsy dinner settings and each dinner has like a story and there's a meaning and metaphor and, you know, some artsy fartsy bullshit. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's what this this that's how these, this group of people goes to this island and our protagonist of the film is Margot who is played by Anya Taylor-Joy and she pretty much immediately sticks out as like she is she is not like the others um so yeah it's kind of where we're starting off at i guess um which i feel like i didn't care to see this movie off the rip because i thought it would be really predictable like i kind of thought okay like they're all it's gonna be really gory i almost kind of thought about like um you're next you know like i I really thought that's kind of how this film was gonna go yeah, based on the trailer, it seemed, you know... Very telling, Yeah, I guess. it's like, okay, well, that's going to be a movie like that. But then you kind of get into it, and it's like... It starts getting weird, like, right off the bat, and they start building up, like, this yeah. stuff. Like, with the whole, like you know, well, this is not the girl you said you were bringing. It's yes. like, oh, that weird, like, you notice, like, she's, like, not the girl they were expecting. So it's like, well, well you know... What's yes. Kind of, they kind of start layering in that stuff. Yes, yeah, so right when this, when this group arrives um, by ferry to this island they're all kind of getting checked in by name and when it's Margot's turn to check in she says her name and it's it's not who they were expecting in her place um and the guy that she came with his name is tyler and mm-hmm. essentially he had put another girl on the list it didn't work out so he just put Margot in her place and so she literally was not supposed to be there like she is not meant to be there and it's kind of like it's not given away like right in the beginning, but it definitely is like 
just kind of hinted like it's kind of off like everybody's kind of off put that she's like not supposed to be there um weird yeah but honestly off. i will say and maybe this is very ignorant of me the price to eat here would have would have been one thousand two hundred fifty dollars i don't think that was that bad like a modest to that's get, what like, the price was? Out yes twelve fifty a head for, oh. per dinner i was like wouldn't that be chump change for them like that's like nothing. Yeah, that's like not very much. I'm not saying like a common man could eat that, but yeah, no, I'm not saying. Yeah, like yeah no, but I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could save up a year and take a one year trip to do that, right? You know? I, th- I thought it was I guess more. It's not so bad. Yeah, with only yeah. Like twelve or fifteen people or whatever. That's only. I don't know why that number like just really like struck me. I was like, that's actually really. Was cheap. that mentioned? It's like just yeah, not. It's like just ahead. not affordable enough for the common guy. Like, uh, you know, but, but the common guy could save up. Yeah, I heard her at one point say, you know, that we're not eat. I don't want to eat a Rolex, so that's why I was like, is it like thirty, forty thousand dollars? But I didn't hear that in no part. Damn, no, yeah, it was yeah. Like pretty cheap. Yeah, was- yeah. I just remember it being kind of like that's actually kind of cheap. So yeah, mm-hmm. these people were paying this much money, which is still a lot of money. I'm not saying. I'm just yeah, saying it ignorantly. Food. Like, hmm, mm-hmm. I could probably save up for that common folk um, <laughs> but yeah. So essentially, th- these people are going to this island, and on this island, like everything that these chefs are preparing is like grown on the island, like everything down from the herbs, the spices, the animals, the meat that is cured. Um, year cow. Yeah. Like, we don't like, years of yeah. Like pretty curing. much like yeah. they literally harvest off of the island. So it's like, it's, I think it's actually a really cool dinner experience. Minus the fact that prior to this movie, it would have been cool. Yeah. I of, I'd do yeah, that. If I had you would be paranoid now. Doing stuff like that. It'd just be weird. Now they, have the, now they all have the idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I am. So, yeah. I know. Yeah. Um, so, this this dinner just kind of starts off pretty. So like the weird dorms. And like, yeah. We live here. And we love it's it. kind of culty. It, it kind of is very Jonestown, but like right fancy for start, chefs. It's like, okay, so they live here and like they love it. It's weird. There's a toilet. I like just that little, that, uh, that first, well, what's the name of the, uh, with a, the main uh, Enya or what? what's the... The first server who's like walking him to. The, oh, that lady. The what, I don't. Lady? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Her. <laughs> yeah, or something. Something, something like that. It was something. She was Will creepy. Up, yeah. She was awesome. I loved her character. Yeah. She was spicy. Yeah. Yeah. When she like gets real with him later. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. No, she like, she's very menacing. She's very, very menacing. Um, and like, I feel like. Hong Cho. Is that. Elsa. Uh, Elsa. Elsa was her name. Oh, I was like, yeah, yeah Elsa. Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. But um, so, yeah, Elsa is like kind of their host that's kind of guiding them through dinner as it's going. And she's just making sure everything is going good. And um, Tyler, this this guy that Margot comes with is like this foodie poser foodie. <laughs> yeah, like, like it's foodie. very embarrassing. Like he just is this very elitist foodie that knows all these big words and knows all these facts from whatever he learned from and yeah, <laughs> yeah. and so he kind of really dumbs Margot down a lot during the dinner um but he also kind of makes a fool of himself a lot during the dinner by uh chef what's his name chef slowick slowick yeah. um so yeah as this dinner progresses essentially uh chef slowick these dishes that he's like preparing are like essentially exposing all the guests for like their wrongdoings like one man had an affair and his affair was printed on tortillas um like, like bank details of yeah tortillas. from like these other rich people like they were like executives or whatever and their like fraudulent charges were like printed on their tortillas <laughs> um and there's John Le- John Leguizamo is that yeah, his yeah, name? Yeah, yeah, John Leguizamo. <laughs> yeah, he's playing. I'm really excited about that. I was yeah, like, what is this guy? Is that the here? little Mexican dude? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was. That was a real petty move, but bringing him on the island. He was also <laughs> in like a Santa movie. I was yeah. like, or was was he night, really? And I was like, yo, like, is he doing hey, like a comeback? Like, like that's like two in like you know, on. like two months or whatever, like two decent I, films. It's I, like, oh. Oh. yeah no i just thought it was kind of funny that he was just kind of making fun of himself yeah, he was like, like I'm, I'm in my presenter era i'm like i'm sure you are <laughs> like, he's the old actor playing an old actor it's yeah like, oh, um <laughs> so it's just like there's just so many people in this fucking film getting exposed from whatever but any i just essentially with each course things get darker limbs start getting chopped off uh, people start getting scared and people start getting threatened um chef slowick takes like a, a liking to margo almost because he can pick her out that she isn't necessarily um belonging with this group like he can kind of really pick her out um and it's revealed that she's 
she's kind of like a escort prostitute. or a prostitute. She's a prostitute. That's kind of spring. yeah. They like throw that in there really quickly. And, it's and like, was she, uh, she and she was the company. girl in the third thea, right? Yeah. I th- oh, on that on that uh, on that guys, old guy's third thea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it That's it just so heck? happens that she is at the same dinner with this old man that she had services with, <laughs> and yeah. he's with his wife, and his indiscre- his indiscretions are printed on the third thea, and she's like literally sitting right there. Um. So yeah, it's it just things get more and more like that. And chef Sloak really, really likes Margo, um, kind of pulls her aside, talks to her and is like, I just kind of need to know, are you one of us? Or are you one of them? You're still going to die, but how do you want to die essentially? And she has a few courses to kind of decide what route she wants to take. Um, and yeah, this, I thought this movie was really fun and the food too, like the the food was cool. Stuff. Did you have you ever seen that uh, show like uh, Chef's Table on Netflix? Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. what it reminded me of. I was like, dude, this is sick. The way like the like the, the presentation text is in and like the ice and like smoke around the dishes and stuff. I was like, man, they had like that's yeah, cool all back to that because like. And I thought it was funny how, like, as the courses, like, progress, like, the descriptions of the food just got more and more unhinged. Like, the descriptions were just funnier and, like... like... A mess. Yeah, they they certainly got intense. Well, like, the first weird one, I think... Was when they like lay that tarp out or whatever, and like that, that guy kills lie. himself, hey, that mess, right? Jeremy or something. The like mess. That. I remember that because I was gonna freak me out. Yeah, the mess. I was like, dude, poor Jeremy. What did they say? R. I. P. Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, R. I. P. Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that it's was like, fucking awful. They drowned uh, an executive to this these people's yeah, the table. Stakeholder guy or whatever. Like, yeah, he owned him like, legally owned like that. Yeah, guy. he profited off the restaurant or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is a spoiler like, review. They all are, but oh, yeah. yeah no <laughs> No, this is a spoiler review <laughs> but yeah i know so this table of executives they're kind of like well fuck you loki because we own we, guy, we own yeah. you blah, blah blah and the guy's like oh actually and he he drowns their boss so nobody owns him it's so he is free too, yeah, yeah. Like, and big moments i will say like i i really thought this was going to be like very like gory i thought it was going to be really like brutal i really thought it was it was giving me like belco experiment vibes like I thought it was going to be nasty like that. So I kind of was apprehensive to watch it. And it really wasn't that gory, but it was still really intense. And um, fucking Chef Slowick's clap was really scary. And like how culty the chef. Even if you like watch watch it, you're like. Yeah, I was I was listening to a review today (laughs) and they were saying that Chef Slowick's clap was the same as a jump scare because it would get people still kind of. Yeah. Like freaked out. It was loud too. Like yeah, moments just okay. You can't see him like walking (laughs) up in the shade. Like, yes. Like, oh, here you guys are going to do the clap. Yeah. That was a cool moment. Yeah, it was cool. Like he kind of built that character like really we or he did that character really well. Yeah. Just, I just thought it was everything. just a really cool version of a horror movie. And if you want to consider it that, I think it's also just a comedy and it's laced yeah. with a fucked up scenario. But yeah, no, I I definitely think it's worth checking out. And I I love Anya Taylor. I thought they Joy. were gonna be eating humans. I thought that was You thought it was gonna be about cannibalism? Yeah, I thought like they, they were gonna, gonna be set in. one of the one of I thought one of the guests would end up being the like the, the menu like i thought that's what he was going to be but i was completely wrong i, really I kind of got that. that same vibe too because when they went to the smokehouse i was expecting to see a, <laughs> like a human corpse in there or something like i was like really it's gonna be about yeah. eating people and they're gonna i thought i was like these guys are freaks they're gonna enjoy it and she's not i thought that's what was gonna happen they they misled me it's a pretty You're good wrong. movie yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a little like it's like how did she know to just be like okay i'm gonna clap now and like you know, yeah like, that that like really solid moment i mean it was good that she just like you know sailed off into the sea with the bird yes. here. like yeah. essentially like, she knew the cheat code she she finds she she gets an opportunity she goes on like a mission she yeah it's her mission and whatever and she decides she is on the chef's side and she is one of them and she is sent off by Chef Slowick to go get her like a barrel or something to go get him like a barrel. So she wanders off and she goes into his house, into his quarters, and she sees pretty much like these like picture framed memories that he's got on his wall. And he's not smiling in any, in any of them. And the only one that he's smiling in is a picture of him in a cheeseburger that he made from like a <laughs> newspaper article. And it's really cute, <laughs> actually. Yeah, he's like really young and he's got hair and he's like really like smiley and shit. And so whenever she gets caught and she goes back or whatever her 
right before like they're supposed to like tab out and pay for their food um because they're supposed to essentially pay for their food before they are going to get killed because this whole group of people is about to get killed um she claps her hands and she says that she didn't like her food and she would like just something else made for her and she requests just a cheeseburger a classic cheeseburger and he's like oh fuck yeah i got you i will hook up your cheeseburger and he it's it's kind of bittersweet because he kind of has like one final moment of like happiness cooking yeah it's pretty damn delicious it looked the pretty good supplementary uh i hated her slide. little bite yeah yeah it her little ass bite. Say, like, <laughs> it was a text and that looked good <laughs> no. Give me one of those. It's pretty juicy. Yeah. Um, she takes one, literally one bite, and she's like, I want this to go. And he's like, Joy Yeah, literally. <laughs> I was like, Why does she chew it like that? Like, <laughs> get that thing. But, anyways, so he just gives her a to go box and lets her go. And, and sets, yeah, everything ablaze. Yeah. So as she display. leaves, she literally dips out on her little ferry that she came in on and he turns the rest of his dinner guests into s'mores. Yeah, that's right. They yes. S'mores. And the rest of his chefs uh, dress the plate, which is actually the restaurant. So they dress the restaurant in like sauces and condiments and stuff. And then they just set themselves all on fire. And that is the f- end of the film. I I put myself in that. I was while I was watching. I was like, if this was me, I would at least fight back. There was no fighting back in that. that, in that fight, hung, like just straight up, like after he they made him cook like that shitty like. Uh, oh, Tyler, I know. Tyler, yeah. He just like went and yeah, was sir, and like what the <laughs> what pretty much that? yeah. So, so was that like kind of the theme of the movie? It was like what's everything's wrong? Everything like that. I guess artists dislike was represented in those people. I think like, it just what kills the made art fun industry. Of, like a lot of demographics and like. And I think it it can be like anything because that that moment like with uh, what's his name Tyler music hair. I actually cooking. felt bad for Tyler because he was like you you think you're a chef come cook for me and he like looks up to him that and, scene, yeah. and he, but also no he's it's, so scared it and I was literally like, oh, proved man. that he was he's just like all talk yes. like he, he literally like, oh. had no idea what he was doing he was, yeah he was uh, <laughs> such a fraud that I guess he told him to go hang himself and he did I was like damn that was sad that was, that was, like, that was oh, so he sad yeah I was like he just said okay. <laughs> yeah, I, guess, yeah, I, guess, uh, I guess that was what it was everybody accepted like this is who I am yeah, I'm just gonna fate, fucking die they kind of acknowledged that they were shitty people that they were frauds that they liars and cheaters yeah um, and it just kind of I guess you can be mad at it but can you you know like you're kind yeah, of exposed right. at that point but yeah no I just definitely think it's worth watching it was fun and we enjoyed I it. I did not. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be that enjoyable. Yeah. It was actually a very enjoyable well, movie. Like presented and looked really clean and like modern. And, you know, I like. I definitely yeah. liked, you know, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. One thing I do want to talk about, and I know you said you hadn't heard of it, but oh, fucking skin a marink. Google oh, it. Google God. it right Wait, now. Let's, let's listen to the goddamn trailer. Yes. Oh, my God. God. Okay. So I have been hyping skin and marink for like a month now. I have not skin seen it. I haven't heard nothing. Dude. Okay. It's, it's, it's like skin a skin a marink. S K I. And then. Oh, my right God. There. It's right there. Uh, okay. So, so this film has been out for a little bit. I almost broke my rule because I would never download a movie. Like I would never go on some like illegal. I don't know. I just won't do it. Um, Yeah. I just, you know, I like, I like my theater experience. So I've heard about this movie for a while and it's been out for a while, but the reason why it was not like on on streaming platforms or in theaters is because it would not get picked up for distribution. Is it like, yeah, dude, this, no, it's it's just weird. From the beginning. Just even if this is not even the podcast, let's just fucking watch this. No, put this in. We'll put it. Yeah, yeah, right. In this oh. house. God, full screen that motherfucker. I don't think we can. Yeah, we'll okay. It took me somewhere. This little part took me somewhere. In this house. <laughs> In this world. In this house. In 
این بسرش took me somewhere that I, uh, <laughs> is it like Roy, Roy was like or? vocally like what the fuck so like he like would like not whole, stop the whole idea of it was to make you feel like a child like it literally I, I read yeah. something on TikTok about like the way somebody had reviewed it and they had said like this film invokes a certain emotion of fear that you would only remind you of when you were a little kid and your fear of the dark as a child not as an adult but that it took that deep there, fear of darkness I was as a kid scared. yeah <laughs> so the premise spooky. of this movie is these two these two kids um they have a tv on in the room and that's like the only light they have and their father is missing inside the house and the doors and windows vanish yeah, and the only light they have is from the television and it, there's something in the house with them Oh, that's fun. Yes. Is that like a January or something? Maybe January. that's like when it released. Yeah, like so next next month. Yeah, yeah, it's going to start, yeah, streaming. Uh, streaming and it'll be in theaters next month, finally. Oh, okay. January 13th. Yeah. yeah, so I can finally watch it in theaters, we get spooked, and do a Lord's on it. Bro, this is going to be intense. Yeah. I'm scared. Yes. <laughs> no, I really yeah. am pretty, pretty excited about it i think it'll be very scary and i think it's very artsy and it it's super low budget it's a, they had a budget of fifteen thousand dollars no budget yeah yeah like literally no budget and um i don't know like there's just been so much hype around it i think it'll just be fun Hopefully, yeah, I'm sure. fuck the imbd rating bradley <laughs> <laughs> i was wondering it was what five doing and a half out of ten i can already tell this movie's gonna fuck me up man yeah <laughs> no roy was literally like <laughs> what was me. that in the theater yeah. they, whatever they wanted to accomplish they did because they got me in the 30 seconds they showed it fucking scared the shit out of me it's creepy. Ooh, it we were in that theater, all, like pretty much a few other people. I, was just, I had the menu. I legit had the menu over my face. I was like, what the fuck That's is that? Oh, yeah, it freaked yeah, him out. Interesting. I didn't see that one. Set me up for the I saw menu. the trailer for the one that you mentioned. The, the Outwaters? Yeah. Oh, God, that one too. Jesus. That's <laughs> like this where it's like, dude, what you don't see. And it's all yeah. Sad. It's creepy. That one too. I don't I don't really know when it's going to be released. I, I really couldn't find a lot of information on it. And there are already reviews for it. From like a year ago. You know, these indie movies get like staggered really bad. We'll see. Mm -hmm. And then like on top of that, we're like, you know, if our Alamo gets it, otherwise it's like, oh, we're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> otherwise you just had to stream it. And I mean, I will stream if I have to, but I really do just, I love yeah, the movie theater. Yeah. This one the seems sound like a great theater like experience. The big picture, yeah. yeah. Like that's, that's that. always been one of my favorite things to do. And it's still one of my favorite things to make time for. But yeah, yeah. I guess that concludes our yeah. menu episode um my review is that it like every other review just it was fun and the food's pretty the food is pretty <laughs> some of it, it looks like very like movie. the little scallop i was like i just want to pluck it i just want to yeah. eat the, the little bread scallop. with no bread yeah um that was really cool that was, all the yeah, insulting dishes that was weird that was yeah. That, yeah the little jelly and shit like that it's just like little drops of <laughs> i will say i did enjoy that about tyler even though people, you hated him like he was just all about the food no matter what like slaps her hand like yeah, he, he ate the the taco with his picture he didn't give a fuck like, I, like, I, <laughs> he was, I, I think he was, my he was favorite there for favorite. it yeah he was he tyler was, he was in it he was man. perfect for like the yeah the offset like yeah. just like the nerdy like foodie fake dude <laughs> yes Poor he guy. played it well that actor r.i.p r.i.p oh. <laughs> So, yep. Yeah. Episode 19. Uh, yeah. <laughs>